So hello everyone, you're very, very welcome to the Upper Sheelan Cook Along. Um, today I'm joined by Ryan and Killian, and we're going to make some porridge bread. Um, joining me as well here online is Finchen, Sean and Paul. So now I'm going to go through the ingredients with the, um, we've already washed our hands so we're going to get stuck in. So here's all the ingredients. So we have 300 grams of porridge oats, we have two tablespoons of mixed seeds, one egg, two teaspoons of baking soda, um, three tablespoons of butter, 100 ml of milk, and this is the yogurt I'm using, but you can, it's 500 gram of yogurt, but you can use whatever yogurt you want. So, so Kenny, do you want to start? So first off, we put the orange oats into the bowl, along with the mixed seeds, oh boy, and baking soda. And while the boys I are doing that, question here. Yeah. So Killian, can I ask you, what does the bread soda do? Well, the bread soda helps the bread to rise. So Ryan now is adding the yogurt, and we're just adding the rest of the ingredients. Let me just scrape it up here, right? Boy. And, and then the melted butter. Now, you can start mixing around. And we're going to put in the egg as well. And Killian, you can put in the milk. Now mix really well, all together. So, Killian or Ryan, what do you like eating your brown bread with? Um, well, I like to eat mine with butter and jam. I like to eat mine with butter and marmalade. Me. Oh, nice. Also, egg, egg and tuna could do nice as well. Together? Not together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now once it's all mixed up then. And make sure to be careful of melting the butter. Um, Ask an Alan to help you as well. Now, just put it into the lined the tin, the lined tin. Good. <laughs> right, you want to tap on the seeds. Boy. And then I put it into the oven. You put it into a hot oven for one hour at 200 degrees. And once again, I'm going to go to help you with it because it's very hot. And one hour at 200 degrees. So I have a question for the lads again. So Ryan and Killian, I suppose that this isolation crack and all that going on, what will you do now for past the time for the next hour when this is getting ready to be to be baked and I suppose Ed for the evening. Ryan, what do you do? Go out and ride on my bike. <laughs> in your go kart. Oh, nice what do you do, Kenny? Um, I'd either clean the dishes or go out and play football. So after the hour, you take your bread out of the oven. So we've checked it the, with the skewer, and once it comes out dry, you know that the bread is done. So just a few tips when you're baking this bread is. When you're using jumbo oats, they don't absorb the liquid I find. I've kind of learned that the hard way. Um, so it has a tendency to burn. So if you use just a finer oat, it will mix better. And also when you're cooking it, cook in or bake it in a small oven tin and it will just cook better. 